All right, let's clone React. So first thing we want to clone is the use state hook. It takes an initial value. So how do, you, how do you define state and set state? How do you implement that? We're going to have state, and let's just assign that to val for now. This is wrong, but <laughs> we'll just get something showing on the screen, and then we'll modify from there. So now we have hooks in Node. Let's use it. These are all standard JavaScript patterns that are pretty handy when doing this. What I expect is to log out one and two. Unfortunately, I log out one and one, and that means it's not really working. It actually is that set count is working. It's modifying internal value. But the problem is when I destructure, this counts in the value of one, and it is one here, and it is one here. That's why we're logging out one. So we need some place to just repull the internal state again. One easy, very cheap way to do it is to turn the state into a getter function, and now I have my stateful function back again. So one and two. And this is kind of hooks in node. If you need hooks in node, that's, that's all the implementation. It's eight lines. 